All right, John, getting ready for the second of two sections of the 400 meters. But let's take a look back at section one, and we had quite a wow in that race. Akeem Bloomfield, the senior from Auburn, went out fast the first 200. We've seen him do that before and die. He did not die today. And Dwight, what a race he ran, 21.29 seconds, and he ran the fastest time in the world, 44.86 seconds. So that is the time to beat, 44.86, as these times determine the points. Let's take a look at the team standings after nine. Virginia Tech with a six-point lead over Georgia. Georgia nine points ahead of Alabama, and then Texas A&M right there. Much still left to go. The uh, collegiate NCAA meet and world record held by Karan Clement of Florida. Michael Norman had the fastest time in the country at 45 flat, but no longer. 44.86, the time to beat. Here is the sensational sophomore from USC. He now knows what he has to do if he wants to win this title. Right outside him, Malik Curley, who qualified to this final in lane number three. Of course, he has the advantage of working out on this track every day and knowing it well, but that is a tough, tough assignment to make it from lane number three, and he was able to do so. Curley ran extraordinarily well in his heat yesterday, earning a, a good position there outside in lane six. So there is the USC sophomore, Michael Norman, almost called it quits after multiple injuries plagued his freshman year. You know, last year, it, it was tough for me mentally because, uh, you know, I meant, I was at a point where I mentally gave up over the season, but uh, Coach Carroll and Coach Watts really believed in me and never gave up in me. So, you know, they, they helped me persevere throughout the whole season, and, you know, I came up with a PR on the 400. So can't, can't complain at the end of the day, but, you know, I wish it could have went a different way, but I'm here now, so <laughs> can't complain at all. Norman out like a shot from the gun, already making up the stagger easy on Malik Curley. Norman digging down and going for it. He knows exactly what he has to do. He's got to run the fastest he's ever run for this distance indoors. But Malik Curley is not about to give up. He's going to get some help from the hometown crowd. 21.33 seconds, first 200 meters. And Norman is known as a strong finisher, as is Akeem Bloomfield. We saw an incredible time run by the Auburn senior in section one. Malik Curley not giving up. Norman still lifting nicely. Now it's a battle against the clock. Can the sophomore grab this title? Yes, he does. 44-53, 44-52. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen a world record set in the men's 400 meters. The talent has been there, Dwight, as you know, being a Californian with this guy. He ran 44-9 on a relay in high school and has just really run well and been healthy for over a year now. Look at the drive down the home stretch, how he hardly ever slowed down. He used his arms beautifully to drive and lift the rest of his body. This is the deepest event of all collegiate track and field on the men's side year after year. So we have the number one, number two fastest times in the world. Both well under what was done at the World Championships just two weeks ago. Well, that world record lasted for 13 years, and Karan Clement, who is the reigning Olympic champion in the 400-meter hurdles, says bye-bye to that world indoor record. It now belongs to Michael Norman of USC. Akeem Bloomfield, who put down a heck of a time in section one, ends up second. Malik Curley gets third, and the new world record holder is with John Anderson. Guys, had to go out there and focus and execute the race how I wanted to. Uh, we, we, we've been chatting. Sorry, we'll get right to this thing. First off, I was going to congratulate you and ask what it's like to win an NCAA championship. How about I switch that? What's it like to run the world record? <laughs> Lost for words, you know. I can't believe it's happened. Uh, it's just a reflection of how hard and work and all the sacrifices I've made throughout this fall season. No, I'm really proud of all the hard work that I've done and my coaches and uh, our training staff. No, I, this wouldn't be possible without them. Where was the key part of this race for you where you think that number came from? Uh, the last 120. I had to make sure I finished and put 100% effort in coming home. It's two sections you get a chance to see Hakeem Bloomfield run up 44-86 before you get on the track. Uh, how did that play into your performance? Uh, it was a. Uh, it, it really motivated me. I had to watch him run such a hot time. 
I knew how to go in there until that's my ability. Before I let you go, I'd like to know uh, how, how, how you're eyeing up the 4x4 four four that's to come to end this meet. Excuse me, would you hear that? I want to know how you're eyeing up the 4x4 four four to end this meet. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be an exciting race regardless of what happens. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very good. World record holder, Michael Norman. I don't know if we got better than that in the field, but I'm going to let you guys upstairs try.